If you spent even a couple of seconds on Uranus, you would never come back. But let's pretend that you have a super protective spacesuit and see what it would be like if you fell into this mysterious ice giant. Prepare for a strange, smelly, and very chilly adventure. As you approach the planet, first you encounter its rings. Yes, it has rings, just like Saturn, a whole 13 of them. Now, the not-so-great news. Uranus isn't a rocky surface planet like Earth. It's an ice giant. In other words, a swirling ball of toxic gas with no solid surface. And it smells awful, too. The upper atmosphere is filled with a gas called hydrogen sulfide, famous for its bad odor, making Uranus smell rather unwelcoming. As you descend into the planet, you'll find yourself surrounded by a dense bluish atmosphere with some turquoise hue and icy clouds. It's foggy everywhere. The temperature drops drastically to a bone-chilling minus 371 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the real surprise. You might find yourself in a rain shower of diamonds. Uranus has a methane-rich atmosphere. As you fall into Uranus, you encounter progressively higher pressures and temperatures. Under the intense pressure, methane molecules undergo a process of crystallization. They break apart, and the atoms within them rearrange themselves, forming tiny diamond particles. The diamond particles then fall deeper into the planet, looking like a crystal shiny rain. That would be beautiful if only the freezing temperatures and the squeezing feeling weren't so distracting. Yeah, it's not all sparkles and shine. Being on Uranus would feel like being super deep underwater. If you reach the bottom of the clouds, the pressure would rapidly increase to above 60 atmospheres. Winds reaching up to 560 miles per hour will buffet around you, making it three and a half times stronger than a Category 5 hurricane on Earth. And for the record, this is the highest rating a hurricane can reach. Next, you're approaching the mantle. It's a dense fluid made of water ammonia, and methane ice. It's pitch black, and the extreme gravity makes movement nearly impossible. If you weren't wearing a magical protective suit, the intense pressure could turn your carbon-based body into diamonds before reaching the core. Now, remember that Uranus is a huge planet. Its diameter is about four times the size of Earth. If our planet were a nickel, Uranus would be a softball. So? All this sinking would take literal weeks. You could have traveled thousands of miles into Uranus and possibly found its center. And after that, you'd be stuck within this hellish ocean forever due to the scorching temperatures and pressures. Not the best trip ever. Even though we didn't send any probes there, there are many things we know about Uranus. It's the seventh planet from the sun and the coolest member of our solar system. It's 1.8 billion miles away from our star, which means that it takes sunlight almost three hours to reach it. No wonder it's so cold there. This planet also has a pretty weird feature. It spins on its side. While most planets twirl on their axes like tops, Uranus rolls along at a nearly 90-degree angle, giving it a sideways spin. You can imagine it like a rolling ball orbiting the sun, a day on Uranus is shorter than on Earth, a mere 17 hours. However, the length of the year there is insane, around 84 Earth years. Plus, its equator is practically doing a right-angled dance with its orbit, leading to the most extreme seasons in our solar system. Which means that if it were habitable, we'd have shorter days but longer and very crazy seasons. We already mentioned that Uranus and Neptune are both blue. That's because, unlike their siblings Jupiter and Saturn, ice giants have heavier elements and methane-rich clouds. Methane absorbs the red part of sunlight, leaving us with that signature hue. And we don't know for sure, but these planets might even hide methane lakes, or entire oceans. And finally, it has not only rings, but also moons. 27 of them, actually. The moons are named after characters from Shakespeare and Alexander Pope, adding a literary flair to the planet's Greek name origins. Now, what would it be like to fall into another ice giant, Neptune? 
It's the farthest, most mysterious planet in our solar system. We know barely anything about this big, dark, blue planet. Just like with Uranus, we start with rings. We don't know much about them, except that Neptune has five main rings, which are pretty young, with huge clumps of dust around them. You might notice that the planet's blue hue is much more vibrant than Uranus. Scientists aren't sure why, but they think it might be due to an unknown component complementing the methane. You won't see much once you're inside, though. The sunlight is as scarce as a dim twilight on Earth. Since it's the most distant planet, it takes the light of full four hours to reach it. Neptune is also smaller than Uranus. This time, if Earth were a nickel, Neptune would be a baseball, which means that falling into it would take much less time than into Uranus. Neptune might look calm on the surface, but trust us, it's absolutely horrifying. Despite its appearance, it's a planet of storms and icy oceans. The temperatures are, once again, insane. Around minus 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds here are fierce too. Three times stronger than Jupiter's and nine times stronger than Earth's. So be smart about your landing, even though there's nothing to land on. Choose the northern hemisphere for tamer winds. And don't forget to pack your spacesuit with extra oxygen. About 80% of Neptune is made up of a chilly mix of water, methane, and ammonia, so there's no chance to get a breath of fresh air. The atmosphere is full of gases, but feels fluidy. It blends seamlessly into water and icy substances until you reach a solid core deep, deep down. So it will literally feel like you're sinking especially considering the insane ocean-like pressures. There are also some cool theories that there might be a super hot water ocean beneath Neptune's cold clouds. There's an upside though. Just like on Uranus, the extreme conditions might turn carbon atoms into dazzling diamonds, sinking into the planet's core. Although you probably wouldn't see them sparkling beautifully, since it's so dark everywhere. At least that's how we imagine it based on all the current data. While we've explored almost every corner of our solar system, our faraway giants, Uranus and Neptune remain elusive. We've got some pictures and data thanks to NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft, which zipped past Uranus and Neptune in the 80s. However, that might change soon. NASA and the European Space Agency, ESA for short, have made visiting these distant ice giants a top priority. They even try to get a glimpse of what it's like to descend into their atmospheres. They conducted exciting simulations, trying to recreate the conditions of these planets to see what it would be like for their probe to brave into the unknown, battling temperatures and pressure in the icy clouds. The tests happened in Europe's fastest wind tunnel, the T6 Stalker Tunnel at Oxford University and the Plasma Wind Tunnels. The probe was heated up. Because even though the icy giants are super cold, the probe would heat up significantly upon entry. The speeds of the T6 Stalker Tunnel reach around 12 miles per second. But for these tests, scientists want to push all the boundaries and reach around 15 miles per second. That's the speed required for orbiting distant planets. But it would take some time for us to adapt our technology to that. However, when we finally manage to send a probe to Uranus or Neptune, the journey will be exciting. It would have to spend decades traveling through the outer reaches of their solar system, passing by Jupiter and Saturn along the way. Collecting data from these planets could help us unlock secrets about their nature and history, and help us understand our solar system much better. Let's hope we'll learn more about these two fascinating worlds. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.